Well, we're looking at three of WWE's best going at it head to head to head in what promises to be an amazing match. Butts with a knee right to the face. Oh my goodness. Jam your leg in a bad way. Stop! Good grief! <laughs> Seth Rollins in some trouble here, but things can change in an instant in a triple threat match. Oh, clothesline! John Cena is starting to take some deep breaths in there. He's still got plenty of gas left in his tank, though. The dangers of this triple threat match appear to have escalated quickly on him. And this has all the makings of getting out of hand fast. He better be careful. Seth Rollins blends high-flying abilities with brutal grounded strikes to keep opponents guessing. If you're an opponent, how do you find an opening? Look, I've faced Seth Rollins many times, but that was before his injury. That right knee is a big target now, and I'd aim all my attacks right at that. John Cena's taking a beating, and he could be out at any moment now. The triple threat match nice. is definitely beginning to test his mettle. You know what? It's pretty remarkable that he's even still in this match. I mean, he's taking quite a beating, but he's still in there refusing to give up. Going back. Uh-oh. Batten down the hatches. Starting to struggle. He's fighting from underneath. He wants no part of the outside. Oh my God, a clothesline. Get this guy some smelling salts. There's a big reversal by Seth Rollins. How good is Seth Rollins? Gotta wonder how this is gonna end, Byron. Whatever happens, it's not gonna be good. I can tell you that. Oh, distance there. Man, I think we're seeing the end for Seth Rollins. There's a very real chance he might not be able to recover from this here in this triple threat match. I can't really tell what his game plan was heading into this match, but whatever it was, it definitely hasn't been working. I don't think you have to possess a genius IQ to know that if you're John Cena's opponent, you can't fall victim to the man's incredible power. This is the Cena that's just about unstoppable. And what a reversal from Seth Rollins. Rollins, so impressive. When Brock is feeling it, good luck to you. But I don't know how much gas he has left, guys. He isn't showing much life here, guys. Corey Mini and Punk. Really struggling now. And he doesn't stay down for long. Might have slipped there, Cole. Oh, continuing to punish them. Is he done? He somehow breaks free. Nice, but he clearly has next to nothing left to give here. Why do they end up on the announce table? Look out, guys! Oh, my God! Falcon arrow! Incredible. Somebody wound him up, and he's off and running. He's fighting from underneath. Oh, what a super kick from the architect. Seth freaking Rollins. Unbelievable. Brock Lesnar is in. What a stop to the back of the neck. Seth freaking Rollins. Unbelievable. One and a kick out. Not even close on that. Oh, wow. Effectively using the knee. Brock Lesnar just too fast for him. Lightning speed from the beast. Gotta shake the cobwebs. Big time takedown right there. This might just be it for him, Michael. He isn't showing much life here, guys.
Gentlemen, the Money in the Bank contract has had many cash-ins over the years, but has there ever been one as memorable as Seth Rollins at WrestleMania 31? I can't think of a grander stage to capitalize on than WrestleMania. It was certainly a shock to the landscape of the WWE. It is not looking good for Seth Rollins. Wow, Seth Rollins is being controlled now. And look at the quickness by Cena. Recalling that shock of Seth's WrestleMania cash-in, it surprised the WWE Universe, but ultimately disrupted a highly anticipated championship match nice. between Brock Lesnar and Roman Reigns. Yeah, it turned into a triple threat against two weakened competitors, and being the opportunist he is, Seth Rollins took full advantage and ended WrestleMania 31 with the heist of the century. Right, you stole my line. Of course, Extreme Rules matches have resulted in some gruesome moments over the years, and perhaps none was more gruesome than in 2012 when Brock Lesnar busted John Cena open following a vicious attack. Sunset Bomb! Wow! Here it oh, comes! Not again! Yes! <laughs> you can't see me! As Byron, that's how you put an exclamation point on a match. One! He's a long way from a three count, I can tell you that. The beast won't stay down. Look out, look out! This could be it! Quick reminder, guys, there are no disqualifications and no countouts in this one. Anything is legal. Oh, and there are enough weapons under the ring to fit Rock moves in. This could be it. Rock's fans have plenty to worry about here. Got him good there. Yeah, let's take another look. Starting to struggle. Corey, we've seen unbelievable championship matches and triple threat contests over the years. You're absolutely right. The fact that a champion does not have to submit or be pinned or be factored in the decision at all to lose their championship is something that can influence their approach. Without a doubt, this is a volatile situation, guys. WWE superstars are dangerous without weapons. Then you put them in an environment. Get it right to the oh. back of a neck. Seth freaking Rump. One. He gets the shoulder up in time. You expect a man like Brock to be taken out by that? What a stop to the back of the neck. Now it's time to capitalize. Corey, you mentioned the triple threat rules earlier. Well, this match type became popular in the 1990s when it also went by names like the Triangle Match. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. I gotta say, watching this match, I'm definitely seeing similarities to the May 2016 Extreme Rules match where Roman Reigns defended his WWE World Heavyweight Championship against AJ Styles. Oh, he goes down hard. Yeah, he's definitely starting to fade now. But can he follow up here? He's fighting from underneath. Two! It's gonna take a lot more than that to keep him down. Not yet. Eventually, John Cena and Seth Rollins changed the landscape of the match by doing the one thing they never... Big move coming! Wait for it! Oh, no. Lesnar's about to end this. And five. Oh, my. I don't know. Is that enough to stop Cena? What a stop. Good grief. Guys, you never know what you're going to see in a match like this. And if you need proof of that, just go back to watch Daniel Bryan versus Kane from Extreme Rules 2014. Damage is taken. Oh, and the ladder finds the mark. Gonna be tough to bounce back from that one. Whoa, the ladder hits. Jeez, that's gonna hurt. He's fighting from underneath. Starting to struggle. The triple threat match for the Raw Women's Championship was another example of the incredible competition between the female superstars of WWE. 
Charlotte was physically dominant in fighting off the challenges of Bailey and Sasha Banks. At one point, the Queen even landed a moonsault on both their opponents at the same time. But the boss and Bailey put it all on the line and kept fighting. There were Ooh, John Cena may have it. Hulk's impact. Raw's fans have plenty to worry about here. Yeah, but can John Cena take advantage now? Look at that. He always had great... This might be it. Oh, my. Are we looking at yet another John Cena victory here? I'll tell... Here it oh, comes. Not again. Yes. <laughs> you can't see me. The fist has been dropped. Can he finish him off here? Brock Lesnar is in a real bad spot here. Adjustment. Are we looking at yet another John Cena victory here? It's going to take more than that to keep his shoulders down. Not even close. This is a treacherous match indeed, as Corey was saying. I can't even tell you how many times we've seen Extreme Rules matches result in broken bones, stitches, and even trips to a medical facility. Yeah, but despite all those inherent dangers, these superstars still willingly sign up for Extreme Rules matches. That's what amazes me the most with a face buster. If you ask me, guys, matches like this where there are essentially no rules are one giant free-for-all where absolutely anything can happen. A second set freaking Rollins. Unbelievable. What a stop to the back of the neck. To think, I almost rode him off earlier. Oh, what a four. Somebody wound him up and he's off and running. Boom, a knee right to the face. Byron, you spoke about this before. A competitor must do everything they can do to start things off on the right foot in a triple threat match. One way to do that is to target one of your opponents and go after them as soon as the bell rings. You're battling two opponents at the same time, so it's hunt or be hunted. And that's what I like, Michael. It's survival of the fittest in that ring. In a triple threat, a superstar can't waste time feeling opponents out, getting warmed up, or easing their way into the match. You have to go at it as soon as the match begins. As we've all seen over the years, loyalty is a rare trait to have here in WWE. Ain't no stopping him now. Raw's fans have plenty to worry about here. He isn't showing much life here, guys. Corey, as far as the Lesnar-Heyman partnership, I'd agree with you. And if I had to guess, I'd say Lesnar kept Heyman around for so long so that he didn't have to talk himself. Well, Lesnar certainly is a man of few words, and Heyman, well, the complete opposite. Nino! Man, that hurts! He isn't showing much life here, guys. One! And he's able to get out. I am in shock. What's it going to take to... I don't know. Is that enough to stop Cena? Seth Rollins has earned a few nicknames and... What a stop to the back of the neck. Seth freaking Rollins. Oh, I don't think he can take any more. Counter here. He is a one-man gang in there. No reverses it. And there's his speed paying off. When Brock is feeling it, good luck to you. Michael Rollins is the architect because of everything he's built and destroyed. He was the brains of the shield and then dismantled the shield to join the authority. And yeah, the authority is now seemingly gone. And I'd say Seth beating Triple H sealed that. Then Seth led the shield reformation, and you just know Rollins has his eye on potential new backup if need be. Get this guy some smelling salts. He's bringing it back inside the ring now. Brace for impact. Here it comes. The big with the F5. Bang. But he's running on fumes here. Does he have enough left in him to capitalize? Well, that was a close call. And the Cena Nation doing everything they can to keep John Cena in this match. It's called the Cena Nation, Byron. Wow, I thought he was a goner. The WWE has many defined eras and athletes who were the face of the company during that time. Bret Hart during the new generation, Steve Austin in the Attitude Era. The current era, however, is all John Cena's. He truly is the face of this company.
Michael, you call John Cena the face. Really struggling now. Oh, super kick! Seth freaking Rollins. Unbelievable. Oh, what a four. There's a big reversal by Seth. He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. When Brock is feeling it, good luck to you. In matches like this, guys, you learn very quickly which superstars have what it takes to truly get extreme. Starting to struggle. He's always had great stamina. Let's see if it lasts here. Somebody wound him up and he's off and running. Regarding Corey's point about superstars having what it takes to get extreme, I would argue that every superstar in the locker room possesses a mean streak. Yeah, but not all mean streaks are created equal, Michael. But I'd say there's only a select few who can turn their mean streaks all the way up to... Here it comes! Oh, not again! Yes! <laughs> you can't see me! Tear the features clean off your face. Are we looking at yet another John Cena victory here? Brock Lesnar is in a real bad spot here. Brock Lesnar with a nice reversal. Oh no, John Cena got outclassed. This doesn't look good for Brock Lesnar. Damage is taking a toll. We may be looking at our winner here, guys. Brock Lesnar is in a real bad spot here. What began as ruthless aggression evolved quickly for John Cena. Whether the Newberry, Massachusetts native was the doctor of thugonomics, leader of the C Nation, or the face of the WWE, it comes down to hustle. It might be cliche, but it's true here. It ain't over till it's over. Brock Lesnar. That should do it. Seth Rollins is in trouble. And he got a near fall out of it. Wow. I thought for sure that was it. There's no retreat and no surrender when it comes to John Cena competing inside that 20 by 20 foot ring. Cena's motto of never give up is a way of life for the WWE icon. The power, the fire, the drive to be the absolute best in this business encapsulates John Cena. John Cena looking to close this thing out. He's Cena has it locked in. This is his opportunity to win this thing. You know, guys, when Brock Lesnar came into WWE in 2002, he was immediately dubbed the next big thing. And I think the pain is too great. They tapped out. That's the match. That was just one of those matches that the men involved should just be proud to be a part of. A legendary performance. John Cena won tonight, showing the true power of hustle, loyalty, and endless...